Hi guys and welcome back to Living with the Lindsays where we provide you with information about albinism and give you a glimpse into our lives. In this video we will be talking about the two major types of albinism. If you want to know more keep watching. There are two major types of albinism oculocutaneous albinism and ocular albinism. Now oculocutaneous albinism is the most common type of albinism. This type of albinism is categorized by a reduction or complete lack of melanin in the skin and a reduction or lack of melanin in the hair and eyes. Now the absence or insufficient amount of melanin causes the light color of the skin, the hair and the eyes. Persons with oculocutaneous albinism also suffer from eye problems related to the disease. And because of the lack or limited amount of melanin in the skin, there is an increased risk of skin cancer. Now many people don't know, but there is another type of albinism and that is ocular albinism. Ocular albinism affects the eyes only. This condition reduces the pigmentation in the iris, which is the colored part of the eye, and the retina, which is the light sensitive tissue at the back of the eye. Ocular albinism does not affect the hair and the skin. Persons with ocular albinism may be of a lighter complexion than their family members, but the differences are minor. People with ocular albinism also have challenges seeing clearly and they struggle with depth perception. They also have common eye problems associated with albinism. If you want to learn more about common eye problems associated with albinism, just click the video at the end. Thanks for watching.